hello hi welcome to the live chat welcome to today's live chat i am trying a new venue a new location just to see if i can get the lighting and i don't know i'm always experimenting but before i get into that let me just introduce myself my name is shola for those people that don't know me uh i own the youtube channel along with my daughters um it's called discovery natural so if you guys have not been on our main hair youtube channel you can check it out and uh, that is discovery natural channel we also have a channel for hair, um, family vlogs called dn vlogs life so feel free to check that out so today we are starting off and i want to say hi to everyone joining us on this live chat and today we are starting off with talking about shampoos last week we talked about conditioners. We talked about what we can use for pre-poo, for deep conditioning, and also for what you can use for um, uh, living conditioners and also for co-wash and things of that sort. So if you have not seen that, after this live chat, you can go and check out the other live chats that we've done. So I'm going to have more people join in right now. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. I have my computer here to answer questions. So we'll first talk about the shampoos and then we'll move on to the um, question and answer time. So feel free to start asking your questions right away or wait until we finish the discussion. So let me connect here and I think everything is going smoothly. Let me know if connection is bad for you guys. Um, is everybody, give me a thumbs up. If you're able to see me clearly, give me a thumbs up if you like live chat. Um, so we're going to talk about shampoos and I have my shampoo, different kind of shampoo in my anywhere hair care bag. And this is the bag that's when we have to do our hair. I just carry this bag. I have all my stuff in there. So it's blurry. Okay. So let me see if I can fix the blurriness for you guys. So sorry about that um let me see okay i'm bringing the camera is it still blurry okay let me okay it's still blurry let me turn off is that better so i don't know let me check youtube to make sure that the connection is good is it still blurry let me know if it's still blurry and i'll come so it's better now it's worse <laughs> so maybe i should move to the next the location i was before okay so it's still blurry um yeah i don't i don't know why it's blurry nope still blurry okay let me see what i can do oh it's worse <laughs> it could be the connection move closer to the router okay let me try that um and see what I can do. Give me a second and I'll see what I can do to move closer to the router right here. <laughs> Just give me a second and I'll be right back. is not good <laughs> okay so let me i have to move to another location in the house because you guys are now seeing me i'm so sorry about this so bear with me while is this still are you still having issues is it still blurry so uh let's see what we can do here because i really want you guys to be able to see me and it not be blurry so yes it's still glory oh my goodness okay i'm gonna start moving things around and um yeah it's still blurry okay let me try to move closer to the yeah i'm gonna take you through and we're gonna move closer to the router and i think the router connection is having problems but let me see what i can do to get it working better i'll have to move the um laptop can you help me move the bring the laptop down here thank you so i love to move the laptop 
and I'll set up everything. So we're moving back to our usual location. Is it getting better? Okay, it's getting better. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. It's getting better. So I have to open the window to have more light in this location. So I'm always trying to get the things to work better for you all. So that's why I was like, let me try this other location and see what happens. So please kindly bear with me yeah much better <laughs> okay i think i'll just stay in my usual location which is my office so let's oh my goodness so now i have to set up the lighting and then we will talk about the stuff that we need to get to talk about so excuse me right now while i set up the lighting and everything okay thank you Tony. okay put that there let me set up the Okay, any other? Okay, let's set this up. Bear with me. Ow. Okay, bear with me. Mm. Okay, put it there. Give me the plug. Give me the plug, please. Daddy's bringing it. Daddy's bringing it. It's Daddy? good. Daddy? Daddy? Do you have the plug? Yeah, I need the plug. Thank you, people. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna need the the thing, the hook for the tripod. Where's that? Um, just hold this. Talk to them. Say hi to them while I while I get the hook. Hi. Sorry about this, everyone. Um, okay. So, this is Aniola. So. Um, here is the Just wait. setup. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Let me plug all these things in. <laughs> done a test so we'll just wing it <laughs> and see what happens such as life <laughs> okay let me plug all this thing in okay let me do this okay give me a second I hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday so far. Yes. Okay, let's bring this. I think I got it now. And um, let me close the door, please. Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay, so how is the connection now? Let's see. Let me flip it around. Let's see this. I think we are doing good now. Yeah, this is, how is the connection? Good. Okay. Things are good. Good. Going shampoo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're back. So the sh connection is good. How is the lighting? Because I didn't do a test. So how is the lighting? I hope the lighting is good. So let's quickly talk about shampoos. Perfect. So I'm just going to stay in my usual location. I'm not going to try and move around and do all that stuff. So we are talking about shampooing. Shampooing is one of the most important things, one of, yes, one of the most important things when it comes to caring for your hair, caring for your scalp, because you know, a good, healthy, clean scalp is crucial. So because it's like, that's where your 
hair grows from your scalp. If your scalp is clogged up, you could have different issues. If you're having um, hair loss, it could be due to health issues, but it could also be due to other things. Like if your scalp is not so clean and you have buildup, you can, your hair can break and things, things of that sort. So now we're going to talk about shampoos and there are different kinds of shampoos that you have. The traditional shampoo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the, I'm sorry it's blurry. If you say it's still blurry, I'm so sorry. Um, there's, it must be some, we must be having connection problems, but bear with me, please bear with me. So the first traditional shampoos that people use is just a simple, simple shampoo. This is like a simple shampoo. It's like a traditional shampoos that you can get in stores. Um, there are shampoos that have sulfates and there are shampoos that don't have sulfates. Shampoos that have sulfates, a lot of people say, don't use shampoos that contain sulfates because it will strip your hair. That is true. However, thank you. That is true. It will strip your hair. However, if you need to use a uh, shampoo or if you only have available to you a shampoo that has sulfates in it, what you can do is you can deep condition your hair and you can prepare your hair before deep conditioning before you can before before shampooing your hair you can pre pull your hair and then use the surface shampoo and then deep condition your hair um because not everybody has access to sulfate free shampoo to be honest with you uh, i've worked with people from different countries that struggle with finding sulfate free shampoo and all they see is a shampoo that um have sulfates in it so what do they do do they not wash their hair they have to so make sure that you use a deep conditioner even if you have shampoos that have soft that do not have sulfates in it you um you still need to deep condition your hair because deep condition deep conditioning your hair will soften it and it will help it in the long run so you have your traditional shampoos um this one is the jamaican mango and lime tingle shampoo and this one is just contains water it contains a minion shampoo, minion shampoo, um, sulfates. Now the sulfates, there are different levels of sulfate. There are sulfates that are actually really tough on this, on the hair, and there are sulfates that are mild on the hair. Uh, so you really need to understand what type of sulfates. Now there are other things, other shampoos that are known as clarifying shampoos. Clarifying shampoos are shampoos that will cleanse your hair. Um, some of them will not totally strip your hair, but it cleanses your scalp. It does um, a clarifying, like kind of like a clean slate. Uh, so the one that we we use is the there's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil this one helps you know it contains peppermint it contains apple cider vinegar i don't know if they've changed it but it does contain apple cider vinegar and um it works really well as a clarifier if my hair has a lot of build up in it and i use this in my hair what happens is that it cleans it but it doesn't strip it so after using a shampoo you do what you deep condition another one that we have is also the Kadema African Black Soap Shampoo. Now, the African Black Soap is just is like it, it's a soap. Um, it's traditionally made. You know, uh, there are different ingredients in it, but it's traditionally made. If you want to use a uh, black soap alone as a shampoo, please do deep condition your hair. When you make the African black soap, you have to mix it with some oils or something because it can also be very stripping. It doesn't have chemicals, no bad chemicals in it, but it can be very stripping. So remember to make that. Um, one thing that you can also do is that you can also use what are known as clays. So clays like Razu clay. This is a pre-mixed Razu clay. It's uh, it's nearly done. It's, it's actually yeah it's yeah it's nearly yeah it's actually nearly done but this is razu clay um it's from naturalicious we use this also as a clarifier it can also this is mild enough to use every week if you want to you can also get bentonite clay there are different kind of clays out there bentonite clay is also one that is good that you can use lastly you can use what are known as shampoo bars shampoo bars are like this they're just like a bar of soap this one is from obia natural 
um if you do want to use get this i usually find this online at obia Night naturals.com um i have a code if you guys want to go to obia naturals um it's an affiliate code so you know affiliate codes whatever you buy i might get a little bit of like a small percentage of it but you go to obia naturals and you put in discovery natural as the code so it will save you some money and stuff so this is their coconut shea shampoo bar and the shampoo bar all it contains is it contains um, shea butter, it contains the coconut, it contains palm, castor, and glycerin. Not so much stuff. So this is this is um, a shampoo bar you can use. So that's basically shampoos, the different kind of shampoos you'll find out there. Um, alternative cleansing agents that also some people use is apple cider vinegar. So when you use apple cider vinegar, you don't want to use it all like just point it on your head you want to dilute it because it can be really strong so that is the end of our discussion but now we're going to go to the question and answer part of this live chat and i'm sorry about what happened at the beginning but i'm always trying to get the best connection i tested it well before i signed in it was fine so i don't know maybe maybe the, you know internet connection drops and gets all fuzzy so let me start from the beginning and um remember keep on asking your questions i'm gonna do some salutations right now i want to say hello to melanie and i want to say hello to calls and glory calls and glory she has been adiola she has been on our channel live chat before when we were still on discovery natural channel and she has a lot of input she has a blog calls and glory.com and she also has a facebook page called calls and glory she recently this week she started a youtube channel which i'm hoping that you guys will go over there support her a lot of you all have already supported her so we're trying to support each other because you know if we don't support each other who is going to support us and i'm all in the game of supporting each other so after this live chat go over to calls and glory we have 24 people now go over and subscribe to her she has a lot of good information um and she's trying to build up our followers and subscribers. So please help her out. So, and she'll be helping us. I'm going to helping us in moderating this call, um, this live chat today. So if you have any questions, she might answer some and um, we'll go from there. Okay. So thank you so much, Cause and Glory, for joining us. And I want to say hello to Kimberly, to Catherine, to Alicia, to Miss Dimples. Okay, Dorita, thank you. I hope you had a wonderful time at work. <laughs> and thank you, Queen Peak. Um, Omotayo, welcome. I want to also say thank you and welcome to Konite and Connet. Is it Connet? Sorry, Connet. Um, and I've said Miss Dimples. Robin, welcome. Nancy, nice to see you here. Olawumi, welcome. Dora, and also we have naturally 2012 2012 and yeah so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this little field trip we did have initially okay so thank you grab your water grab your tea and today we'll be doing the live chat we still have to do it for one hour i'll be ending it in about 45 minutes uh let's say 42 minutes because sunday is family time and um yeah Okay, so if I didn't say hi to you, hi, Matty. So if I didn't say hi to you, I apologize. Welcome to the live chat Q&A session. So Catherine asks, and she says, what type of shampoo or cleanser is best to remove silicon from your hair? Now, this is a thing. And um, so the best one to remove silicon entirely would be a sulfate shampoo. However, I found that clarifying shampoos such as my Instagram is called Discovery Natural. So that's our Instagram. And um, so the main one is a sulfate shampoo if you really want to cleanse your hair. But you can still get away with using things like the clay. Well, the clay, there's a little bit of spec speculation that does it remove sulfate, does it not remove sulfate. So it really does depend. Um, I've been able to use uh, this hair, the Shea Moisture, uh, 
one to remove sulfates because you know i do use sulfates and i've not had any problem and in addition i also use the kadima one okay because it has black soap in it i also use it and it does a good job in removing sulfates from my hair so the next question is from alicia 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 um is it bad for your hair to not shampoo while wearing a weave uh tell me how long i will say how long is it that um you are wearing the weave for so if you're wearing a weave for months on end for one month two months three it's best for you to shampoo your hair it's best for you to cleanse your hair better still not to wear it for too long so that will be my advice to you how do you treat dandruff is a question that ola wumi has and um to treat dandruff first of all you need to first figure out what is causing the dandruff you know um could it be that you are not cleansing your scalp as often you are not using the right things on your scalp your scalp is dry uh so but if once you find out what it is you can actually reverse it by uh no, by doing by cleansing your scalp better you can also use apple cider vinegar so you can take apple cider vinegar and like one part apple cider vinegar and three parts water if you have peppermint oil add some few drops of peppermint oil in it and use that you know put it on your scalp before you wash your hair cover it with a plastic cap for about 20 minutes or so and then after that proceed with your shampooing that does help some people now the other thing is that you can also try using green tea i found that green tea is very effective when you use it and you can also use it along with um apple um with peppermint oil so give that a try but you want to not all things that look like dandruff are dandruff it could actually be another skin issue it could be eczema it could be so many other things so if you've tried all these small remedies and you see that you still have a problem i will suggest you talk to your um dermatologist uh, trichologist or something of that sort somebody that has experience with dealing with issues of the scalp and issues of the hair so I hope that helps. So, okay. So let's keep on. And I see that. Thank you so much, Quals and Glory. She's been answering some questions, which is wonderful. Thank you so much. So, um, Dor um, Dorita says, when you pre poo can you still hot oil treat or do you do one or the other? Well, you can still do it. Um, personally, I don't because I feel like it's overkill. Um, because I feel like there'll be like too much oil on my hair and I don't like too much stuff on my hair. So I'll say you might not want to, uh, you might not want to do that. So you might just want to pick one or the other. So, uh, and pick the one that works best for you. Okay. Let's continue. So Alf Alfreda's world welcome. And she says, planning to start pre pooing Hope it will help with my dryness. Where did you get the comb sprout on your oil, oil bottle? Okay, the the comb. Okay, there's a oil bottle that I have that has a pink comb thing. It's called Roots Only. Um, you can find that Sally's, and uh, you can also find it online if you don't find that Sally's. Because when I was looking for mine, I I looked everywhere for it. I couldn't find that Sally's really, and I also found it online. So you can go to amazon i'm fine on amazon um but i've made it easier for you guys so you can go to amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural so um that will come that will have all the products i use everything even equip equipment that i use for my uh live chats for my video recording everything it's on the amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural so I hope that of that else. Okay, so and hi and wise hair and beauty channel. Welcome. Okay. Let's see. The next question here is from let me see. Let me get to the next question is from Melanie. Welcome. And she says, What's the reason why I express more shedding for my hair in the back on shampoo days? Now if you're expressing more shedding, is it really shedding or is breakage? Uh, sometimes our portions of our hair, sometimes some people will find that 
the you know if one part of your hair is easily tangled so let's say that the back of your hair tangles up a lot you might if you are rough with it and you are not gentle with it you might experience more breakage one thing you can try doing and this works for me is to try to wash your hair and twist if you're a little bit finicky about oh but my scalp is really dirty don't wash your hair and twist if your hair is really dirty don't wash it and twist if you find that the back gets tangled easily separate your hair and separate more sections to the back of your hair and then shampoo that section very gently or you can pre-pull like put a conditioner before to loosen the tangles and then after that you shampoo and i do hope that helps you so uh let's continue hi angela welcome and she says how often should you shampoo your hair if you exercise four to five times a week it really does depend. There's sometimes I go to the gym, I walk out every weekday, sometimes twice a day, and then I also walk out sometimes on Saturday mornings with my daughters because they have a class. But the thing is this, if you're someone that when you walk out, you don't sweat so much, it doesn't cause your hair to smell and all that stuff, you can actually get away with waiting until the end of the week to wash, or you can try doing what is known as a co-wash in between the week and then shampoo at the end of the week and simply what is a co-wash simply a co-wash is conditioner washing washing your hair with conditioner to just kind of give it a refresher make sure when you co-wash you're using a conditioner that is specifically designed for co-washing you know for cleansing and we talked about that in the life like last live chat so check that out if you have the time so I hope that helps um okay connect says okay just go to Instagram okay yay so Ola Wumi says what does pre poo mean pre poo simply means before shampoo when you say pre it means before poo is just a shortened form of saying shampoo it's a pre shampoo treatment um, that it helps in different ways. I have a whole um, a whole video talking about how to pre pull and things of that sort. But basically, what pre pull does is that pre pull it will up so it can help soften your hair. It's as easy as taking olive oil, putting it on your hair before you shampoo. And I did a live chat earlier this week, middle of this week, about pre pulling But you can also go on our channel and find different ways that you can pre pull So you just put the oil or you can put conditioner, you can put um, aloe vera on your hair. Wait, sleep overnight, cover it with a plastic bag. Sleep overnight and next morning, just start shampooing your hair as it will. And it's, I think it, it also helps what is known as eye grow fatigue. And that's the process where washing your hair can actually um, cause your hair strands to feel weakened and things of that sort. So it kind of gives the layer and protects it. So these are the different, you can um, you can check this out after. Okay, so these are the different treatments that I talked about. And I also share how to pre pull your hair on this link. Uh, so the next one is thank you. Thank you so much. I, I just love it that you guys are helping out answering the question. Thank you so much. Uh, Matthew says, when you use clay wash to wash your hair, do you deep condition afterwards? Not all the time. Let me tell you something. When I use this one, this is the Moroccan Razo Clay by Naturalicious. I don't deep condition afterwards because this one is a five in one step. It contains ingredients that actually help soften your hair so you can skip the deep conditioning process. But when I use bentonite clay that I mix myself, I find that I do have to deep condition. So it all depends on how your hair feels, how it, how it works and things of that sort. And I'm sorry about the blurriness. I, I don't know what's going on. I can't help it. Um, so I do really apologize for that. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so the next one is, let's see if I have another, okay. So my crown, Ms. Dimple says my crown tangles the most. It's also not as kinky as the rest of my hair. Any additional suggestions for that area? I do shampoo in section, but still gets tangled and not 
knots in that area so this is what you do if you don't pre pull i would suggest that you try to start pre pulling when you section your hair to shampoo so what i want you to do is that the crown area just create a circle and keep that one apart on its own and then section the other parts of your hair as it be then what you want to do is that so before you start shampooing your hair this is something that i don't know if anybody has done it before but i kind of do it when i feel like my hair is going to be really tangled which is usually like once in a blue moon you get some rinse out conditioners are you listening so get some rinse out conditioners put it on that section okay and then walk detangle your hair with that conditioner the conditioner should, have, should be a conditioner that has a lot of slip after you've done that then you want this area to have like vip um service <laughs> so after you do that then you want to like twist it up if you can twist it up if you can't twist it up just roll it into bantu knots then work on washing the rest of your hair the way you normally do now when you do it you get um so when you do it you get the this is naturalicious n-a-t-u-r-a-l-i-c-i-o-u-s naturalicious for the person that was asking so you can take a picture of it if you want to <laughs> okay so that's what you do you treat that area separately detangle it and you leave it twisted you wash it and twist that will help reduce the tangleness. Now, how can you avoid your hair from being tangled all the time? When you moisturize your hair, moisturize it in sections and make sure you put more products on that area. If your crown area, because I see that your crown area, you know, tangles a lot, it's also not as kinky, but it might have some strands that easily lock on each other. So hopefully that will help you out. Any areas that if it's like your right hand side that is messing up a lot it is okay to put more products on one side that is problematic and to be able to just get past that tangled stage because tangled hair will break okay so i hope that helps so alicia says should you ever leave your hair uncombed after loosening braids then shampoo what will happen if you do that your hair will be tangled if you're losing a braid and you don't comb your hair or you don't detangle your hair and you wash your hair, when you're washing your hair, it's even more tangled and you experience more breakage. And I, I don't advise doing that. I advise you to detangle your hair before you shampoo your hair. And um, yeah, so I miss blue. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah. So she said that she has started to finger comb her hair. It is much better, less breakage. See, that's good. I'm currently out of products. What can I use to keep moisture? Now you're currently out of products to keep the moisture. Um, I, you, you have to get a product. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you can try, you have to get something, you know, since you'll be going to the store anyway, you can get a product, get a product that works for your hair. Um, whatever you've been using in the past, stick to it keep using it if your hair is doing better stick to what works for you you don't have to go and buy all this other stuff um so i'll say stick to it so yeah kadima products are really good kadima people is a good one okay yes the oil is a good good one it works really well i love that oil so Alyssa says my hair is moisturized in the morning after shampooing then in a couple of hours it is dry what will keep the moisture now if your hair is moisturized in the morning and you're wearing your hair out way after shampooing number one make sure you are deep conditioning your hair number two make sure you are moisturizing your hair really well if you are not deep conditioning your hair after shampooing that is something that can actually cause your hair to stay dry if your hair is high prosty hair what you can do and high prosty hair is just hair that when moisture goes in it comes out easily so what you can do is that after you moisturize your hair so you put your you have your liquid you put your oil you put your cream get some shea butter or a thicker type of butter and use that on your hair or you can get like castor oil and use it on your hair and that will keep the moisture in longer look at the products you're using there might be some products that are actually causing your hair to feel drier and dry and um yeah just keep that in mind okay so 
let's see which other questions yeah so Catherine gave a really good point thank you Catherine miller so she says that it is also helpful to wear your hair in stretch styles so a lot of people like doing what is known as wash and go and wash and go is just you wash your hair you put some styling products and you go but sometimes what happens is that if your hair is a hair that tangles easily that your hair strands they like to do a party in your hair and lock up you might want to try maybe twisting up your hair first before you um, let it out so twist up your hair braid up your hair and then untwist it to keep it in a pattern so when you twist your hair your hair creates a form like this and it keeps it in a pattern so that they're not tang they don't tangle easily so i hope that helps you a lot and i'll say welcome to the live chat rose welcome all the way from uk welcome to the live chat so thank you for joining us so um Cornette says, would there be any giveaways so with Kadima products? Um, we're looking to doing giveaways. I don't know when I'm going to do the next giveaway. You just have to show up. And if I'm inclined to, I will do it. I don't want, I, I get a lot of requests on Instagram, on Facebook. When are you doing the giveaway? When are you doing the giveaway? And I really don't want giveaways to be the purpose of somebody just coming to this live chat. This live chat is like a community. That's why you don't see me promoting it every single time all over social media i only promise you like a couple of hours a couple of minutes or an up to an hour before the live chat to say hey we have a live chat coming up because i want this live chats to be one that the people that want to come they're just coming to understand to learn more so i do hope that's the purpose of coming but i will do a giveaway i don't know when um when the spirit moves me <laughs> okay so thank you for asking that question. I, I'm okay with you asking that question. Um, so so at least it was in deep conditioning. Please do try deep conditioning. If you want to learn more about deep conditioning, you can go on um, our channel, Discovering Natural, and check out how we deep condition. You can also go to Quals and Glory, our website, our blog, um, and you can also find so many informations on deep conditioning your hair. Now, the next question we're getting is from Remy. Remy, welcome, welcome. And she says, please, is it good to protein treat, uh, do treatment for toddler's hair? Let me tell you something. Toddler, you look at a toddler, and you're like, okay, how old is it, a toddler? Maybe like two years old or something. Now, some two-year-olds, you see their hair, their hair looks like baby hair. And then you see some other two-year-olds that their hair is like thick and big and long. So I feel that when you are going to do a protein treatment on a child's hair if the child's hair is one hair that needs it so if the hair is breaking easily and oh i got something in my eyes if the hair is breaking easily and the hair needs it i'll say do it now let's say if the hair you feel the hair and the hair is doing normal shedding and normal shedding is that when you look at the hair strand there's a white uh bulb at the end you don't need to you can do protein treatment once a month and i know for my youngest daughter her hair grew so quickly so i had to do protein treatment on her hair when she was younger so and it's okay once a month should be enough and um i have a video on discovering natural Ch on how to do protein treatments on children's hair so check out the kids natural hair kids hair care playlist on discovery natural channel welcome living waters thank you for joining us so yeah i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad so angela says any suggestions of any websites in uk where i can buy natural hair products um i'm not sure but i know that i've heard of this store called boots uh i don't know where in uk you are are you in england are you in i don't know where so um you can also go online. So if you go to, so if you want to get Kadima products, for example, you can get it on amazon.co.uk. Okay. So if you're in UK, you can always get Amazon, um, get Kadima products, which I love. I love their products a lot. That's why I keep on showing you guys. I use their products every time. I'm always getting new shipments of their products when I run out. So yeah. So if you don't want to get their products, you can go to Kadima, um, go to Amazon dot co dot uk and try their products out and the products are all natural they don't have chemicals in it so for example i don't have my glasses with me so i'll have to 
and far sided so i have to go like this so for example in this one which is the african black soap it only contains organic african black soap molasses aloe vera coconut oil extra virgin olive oil grapeseed oil jojoba macadamia oil vitamin e oil and other essential oils all natural all natural okay and they also have another milder one which is the ultra so if you don't want to clarify your hair you can use their ultra mild two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and all this contains i love this one because it contains coffee in it coffee that they put in it is actually to exfoliate your scalp so it's very grainy so this one contains black coffee vitamin e oil grapeseed oil lavender essential oils and other organic ingredients all natural and it is black owned so if you want to support black owned feel free to okay let's move on to the questions uh yes yeah. da, 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 da. hi kiki welcome hi how are you okay and um cause and glory will be sharing all the links that i'm talking about so please free feel free to check it out and angela yeah you can always go to amazon for uk to get that product so dora says please if you find it difficult to find a product for protein treatment how can you do a protein treatment so if you find it difficult to do a protein treatment you can do a diy protein treatment i'm going to actually i'm going to do a protein treatment um soon probably in the next two weeks and i'm going to be using a diy protein treatment that i've used before when i run out of my protein treatment what you can do and i'll quickly tell you what i put in my protein treatment and i'm going to add some other stuff in it so when the video comes out on discovery natural channel please watch the video because i'll show you how to mix it and how to use it on your hair and a diy do it yourself protein treatment works really good for children because you know that it contains things that um don't contain chemicals so what you can do is you can take avocado and um blend it really well i'll blend it to a creamy consistency you can mash it up but i'm all about blending it into a creamy consistency add a little bit like a scoop or so of mayonnaise add some olive oil in it and you can also add some other oils to it those are the bases some other people also use what is called gelatin as their protein treatment in addition some people use eggs i'm not i'm not into that um so that's what some other people do but the avocado one i've used that so many times before but i've never done i've done a video on it there's an old old video so if you search for discovery natural avocado on youtube you can get that information and i know cause and glory if you can put that link out there i really appreciate it so go to youtube search for discovery natural avocado that is an old video that contains how you can um make the avocado mix so i'll create an updated one for you all so um kiki says are you vegan or plant-based i'm not vegan and um i'll let you know i'm not vegan but i did discuss it briefly on my last live chat when i was pre point i um i'm doing this fast that is a vegan fast for the whole month of january and that's why i've been only doing all vegan stuff now if you are vegan and you only have to use vegan products a common um i'll tell you kadima products contains all natural stuff so i will say they're part you know, vegan um i have to talk I'm going to send them a message and ask them if they're purely vegan, but I've not seen things that are not, um, are, are not plant-based in their ingredients. Okay. Um, molasses. I, I said, Oh, by the way, thank you everyone that's talked to me about molasses and thank you cause I glory just popped out the, uh, protein treatment. Another blind that is all vegan that I know that 100% all vegan is the Obia natural obia natural brand and you can go to i think it's obianaturals.com to get it and use the coupon code discovery natural their products are all vegan if you want to give that a try so let us move on okay thank you so much and you can see how resourceful cause and glory is so if you've not yet subscribed to our channel called cause and glory i will i, I will advise you to do so 
and um, support her in any way you can. She's very resourceful. And she's, she's like my, I always call her my adopted um, sister. <laughs> she's such a sweetheart. My kids love her. And we've had her in our house and everything. And um, she's, she's really cool. So please do go to our channel, go to our Instagram, Facebook. She has a Facebook group uh, that you can check out. And um, so, Diola, you can put the link of your Facebook group there. And she and you can also check it out. So thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, Kiki. So let's see if we have any more questions. Okay, so we're we're kind of we don't have any more questions. I think this went really smoothly, regardless of the shortcomings at the beginning. And I do want to thank you guys for joining me every time. I thank you so much for the support on this channel. This channel, we have like um we're going to we have over 400 people that have subscribed to this channel so i do appreciate it i appreciate you guys that keep on coming every single sunday you've made this your habit of coming every sunday and i do appreciate you all just coming and supporting and we just want to say thank you i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and i wish you all a wonderful wonderful sunday if you have any questions feel free to send me a private message on Discovery Natural on Facebook. And also you can send me a message on Instagram. That is fine. And I'll respond back. But right now, have a wonderful time with your families, with your loved ones. And let this week be a week where you just overlook negative people. Let's say that. Let's do that. This week, we're overlooking negative people. We're moving on towards the positive people and i want to share something with you for all you that have stayed on till now if you go on instagram you guys want to know more about us apart from here we have a youtube channel called dn vlogs live and on that channel we also have a new instagram page called dn vlogs live and that is where i kind of share things we're doing at home, what we're eating, foods we're cooking. My family and our Insta stories are very funny. For example, yesterday, my daughter and I we went to a twin teen um, uh, event and they taught them how to create vision boards. So check that out, Discovery Natural on Instagram and also on YouTube. I mean, DN Vlogs Live on Instagram and also on YouTube. YouTube. so thank you so much and i love you guys i will see you guys in the next live chat thank you for watching bye